What's going on guys? This is JT here. Welcome back to Hero Spotlight. In today's Hero Spotlight is going to be the man himself, one of the best dragons in the game, that is Lavanica. So let's go ahead and get into Lavanica still. We got Eruption. Now this is at level 13. We got the original form, removes buffs from two enemy heroes, deals 500% attack damage to three nearby enemy heroes every 0.4 seconds for eight seconds and increases their damage received by 50% for three seconds. Now that is absolutely insane. If you put this debuff on, let's say a Walla Walla and then Dove Keeper comes by, and hits it for 1 million damage. Well, now it's 1.5 million damage. And that Walla Walla is going to get one shot, boys. All right, so we also got Magnum or Magma Form. We got Dill's total damage equal to 2,000% attack over four seconds to enemy targets in a random area, removes their buffs, and inflicts Paralyze on them for three seconds, which is insane. So no buffs for those guys, plus they're Paralyzed. All right, Hero Transform into Magnum Form once it enters the battlefield and every 10 seconds thereafter. Insane. Magma form lasts for 8 seconds each time. When in magma form, Hero recovers 100% of its HP. So your Levanica can be sitting there with 20 HP, almost dead, then voila! Whoops, there's magma form, baby! 100% HP! It feels bad when that happens, especially when you're fighting your Levanica. Next thing you know, whoops, there's a magma form, full life again. Guess I can't kill him this time, and it really stinks if you lose a hero in the meantime. It's the worst feeling ever. So we also got, this hero cannot receive more than 10,000 damage per hit and gains immunity to stun, fear, and energy, energy reduction effects, and this hero has fast energy recovery. It's talent time, boys. Let's go ahead and get into the top five talents for Levanica. Coming in, the number one spot is going to be Unholy Pact. Why Unholy Pact? Well, the same reason as for Dove Keeper as well. These heroes only take in a limited amount of damage, and Unholy Pact does give the most attack out of any other talent at all times. So, in my opinion, if you want an offensive Levanica that does absolutely destroy other heroes, put on put it put Unholy Pact on it. You can't go wrong. Because you can see here, we got increases attack by 190%, but also increases damage received by 15%. Well, increases the damage by 15%, absolutely cancels itself out. Useless because he only receives a certain amount of damage, right? And you get that increase of 190% attack. Absolute beast mode. Coming in the number two spot for a talent for Levanica. In my opinion, I like to go offensive with one talent and then put the best defensive talent on him, right? So coming in the number two spot is going to be Sacred Light. In my opinion, Sacred Light is still the best defensive talent in the game. You just get that huge HP buff, which is really, really big for Levanica because if you have 90% more life, remember, Levanica does gain 100% life once she enters magma form, right? So if you put some sort of tenacity, vigorous fury, anything where it boosts his life up, he's going to be gaining all that life back as soon as he procs. Not only that, but he does get the damage reduction for the two seconds where he's very, very vulnerable and can be killed. This helps him from not being killed. Coming in the number three spot is going to be Vigorous Fury. I really like Vigorous Fury on Levanica because it gives you that huge 120% HP buff, which is a lot of freaking HP. Levanica already has like 1.5 million HP maxed out. You give him another 120%, we're looking at near three or more than 3 million hit points, which is really hard to kill something with 3 million hit points when it's only taking in, what, 10,000 damage per hit? absolutely ridiculous but not only do you get the hp buff you get a little bit of defense with there or a lot of defense with this you also get a little bit of offense as well it raises his crit rate for 80 percent if the hero has at least 45 percent of their hp why i feel like this works really well with levanica is because he pretty much always has above 45 percent hp right he's gaining 100 percent life every 10 seconds so this talent is pretty much always going to be activated Coming in, the number four spot is going to be Stealth. I really like Stealth on the Vanica. The only issue I have with Stealth all in all as a whole is it's not activated at all times, right? 
We got when HP is below 30%. So Leviticus HP has to be below 30%. The good thing about stealth is not only is it very defensive by sending him in stealth mode, it's also very, very, very offensive and can come in some serious, it can come in clutch in some really good situations, especially in Lost Battlefield. If Levanic is your last hero alive and he just doesn't have the damage he needs to kill whatever's left, soon as stealth activates, boom, 200% attack which is a lot that's more than unholy pack but not only that attack speeds increased by 90 percent which is almost double and he's elusive for 4.5 seconds so stealth in my opinion is very nice coming in the number five spot i like survival a lot more as an insignia but i'm gonna go ahead and give it a talent as well because at this point in time in castle class you can have a level nine talent and a level nine insignia so it doesn't really matter which one you choose right so you can go ahead and go with survival as the main talent i almost always use survival as an insignia when it comes down to any of these talents, right? So yeah, we'll get into that next. But yeah, survival, in my opinion, comes in the five spot as the fifth best talent. All right, so the best insignias for Levanic, in my opinion, pretty much every time, no matter which talent I'm using, I always go with survival. Personally, I don't ever use survival as the main talent just because I really like it. It's really easy insignia to get and all in all, the stats on it are really solid and it's very, very, very beneficial for Levanica. We got negate all damage for three seconds and regain HP equal to 2000% attack when attacked. So this is basically like a secondary heal for Levanica. Not only does Magma Form heal him all the way up to 100%, well, guess what? So does Survival. So now you have two options to heal this bad boy all the way up, which is pretty insane. I would highly suggest sticking Survival as well, your main insignia on Levanica. If not, you can just go back and forth with some of the talents that I chose as for insignias as well. Well, is Levanica's destiny important? Yes, it is actually. Whenever you level up Levanica from level 10 to level 11, it is a big change. So in my opinion, I would highly suggest focusing Levanica if you have them. Go ahead and get them up to level 11 right away before a lot of other heroes in this game. Why? The main reason is once you go from level 10, you will notice right here it says deals 380% attack damage to two nearby enemy heroes every 0.4 seconds for eight seconds and increases the damage they receive. The important part being not only is he smoking those heroes with all his damage, but increases the damage they receive by 50%. So when you bring that from 10 to 11, it now changes to three total enemy targets, which I mean, if you're dealing damage to two, you might as well deal damage to three because that's 50% more damage coming out from Levanica, which is insane. But like I said, not only that, that extra hero is going to take in 50% more damage as well. So in my opinion, I would focus Levanica in Destiny, no doubt about it. So what's the top pets for Levanica? In my opinion, I really like to go with Finnick, um, and that's because I just like that size shield thrown up on my Levanica at all times. I feel like it makes him even more defensive, plus there's not really that many pets that give him extra attack, so you might as well go with what pet makes him the most offensive, and that is going to be Finnick in my opinion, because it just ignores one debuff, which is very nice. Coming in the number two spot, for pets is going to be Doom Balloon. The reason why I like to put Doom Balloon on Levanica as well, this is to help with raiding bases. One thing you'll notice is Levanica, Zephyrica, and also Dovekeeper all stay alive a long time. So really Doom Balloon works on any of those three, but Levanica it works just as well because like I said, Levanica stays alive. You keep Doom Balloon on them. Doom Balloon will literally solo an entire base if your Levanica does not die. So that's why I like to put Doom Balloon on Levanica for offensive Guild War battles mainly. Coming in, the number three spot for Pet is going to be Rudolph. And the reason why I like to put Rudolph on Levanica is, in my opinion, Rudolph is one of the strongest pets in Castle Clash. So I like to put uh, the strongest pets on some of the strongest heroes that don't die, right? You know what I mean? Rudolph's constantly healing everybody in the battlefield. Plus, it'll also make that Levanica a little bit more defensive. So if I had to suggest something to you, I'd say go ahead and throw a Rudolph on him. All right, so next we got, what are the top enchantments for Levanica? Well, in my opinion, coming in the number one spot is going to be Victory Lunge. Why? Well, because on my Levanica, I mainly tend to use Unholy Pact, which increases his damage by a ton. So what does Victory Lunge do? Well, it increases the attack by 25% and reflects 15% of incoming damage. Now, that might not seem like that big of a deal, reflecting 15% of incoming damage, especially since he can only take in a certain amount of damage. But 
Remember this, if you have a if you have a mirror image of two Levanicas side by side and one has victory lunge and the other has a different enchantment, well guess what guys? That victory lunge enchantment is going to take this win because of that reflecting of damage, right? Giving in that extra 10,000 damage per every single hit really adds up, especially when you're fighting Dove Keeper Zephyricas and also other Levanicas. So in my opinion, the number one enchantment is going to be Victory Lunge for Levanica. No doubt about that. Coming in the number two spot is going to be the next. In my opinion, this is the probably the best defensive enchantment for Levanica, hands down. And it is going to be the newest enchantment that is Healing Ritual, which raises his HP by 50% more during battle. So I mean, just imagine that, man. 50% more HP from Healing Healing Ritual. Also, if you're using Sacred Light, you got another 90% plus damage reduction. Like, they, they are giving us setups that make Levanica and other heroes just almost impossible to kill. But then on top of the 50% HP, every time he attacks, he's going to be recovering 6% of his max HP every swack. So that's going to be mo mo most of the time more damage than he's even receiving, right? So yeah, very tough to kill a Levanica with Healing Ritual. No doubt about that. Coming in the number three spot is just going to be Energy Sap. And that's just like, it's just like a weak victory lunge in my opinion. Yeah, you can go with Energy Sap if you can't get victory lunge just to give your Levanica more damage. But I would highly suggest going with that victory lunge. No doubt about it. And luckily they made enchantments a lot easier to get in Castle Clash these days. Even for free to play, which is very, 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 very nice. Unfortunately, I'm on my free-to-play account and I cannot show my Levanica traits, but that's okay. My favorite traits overall for Levanica is going to be accuracy coming in the number one spot. Why? Because you don't want your Levanica missing all day, right? It's pretty important for him to land his attacks to dish out the big boy damage that he does. And if you can't get accuracy, dodge is also very good for Levanica as well. Just a little bit more of a defensive setup. Keeps him alive longer. HP works okay as well, but again, I like to put dodge and also I like to put accuracy as the main talent. I would fill it all the way across the board with accuracy because a lot of people are stacking dodge these these days, especially with the new Blade Dance talent out. I mean, yeah. So go with Accuracy. Hands down, the best talent. He's already doing enough damage, in my opinion. You don't necessarily need to give him extra attack. It's only 500 attack. I'd rather make sure to hit the target than to have more damage and possibly miss, right? So anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this hero spotlight. Make sure to let me know in the comments below what hero do you want to see next. Anyway, guys, I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas. Wow, that's a really strong river. JT, I bet you'd get more subscribers if you swam across this river. Really? Dude, these are the strongest rapids in New Hampshire. But I'll do anything for my subscribers. Uh... Oh, boy! Oh! Oh! I'm sinking faster than the Castle Clashers free to play player base! Oh, my God! There's a sucky bush under here!